I just went on a walk. Let's, let me take these out. I found the key, the trick. This is the trick to getting yourself to go for a walk. First of all, understand that you were worth it. That is number one. Number two, get into clothes that make you feel comfortable. Third thing is to call a buddy that will do it with you. Catch up with your friends and your family that you don't get to talk to very often. And the walk will go by so quickly. Just find like a landmark or something to go to and turn back and then boom, that's your walk. I feel like that was definitely one of the magic tricks to getting me to walk. What am I saying? I, I went on like two walks, but basically I have been feeling really good. And when something feels really good, you want to do it over and over again. So that is definitely something I see myself doing more often. Good morning, my friends. It is 11.23. I am holding myself accountable to completing a project that I started in 2019. So I basically wanted and decided for myself that I'm going to write a cookbook. And I was super in touch with myself and creating recipes and creating connection from the things that I would choose to eat and put on my plate to the feelings and the things that I would practice in my body and going on in my vessel. And so I became super spiritual and then it kind of fizzled away because it became normal. That um, care for myself became really normal. So it's kind of uh, a huge privilege to have is the alignment of how I feel and how I was treating myself. So now I think it's time to share. My only problem is articulating it to paper and doing it in a way that makes sense with my present self and what would make sense to many others, but also keeping the, the like timeless energy, right? Like a good book is timeless. You can use it. 50 years from now or 50 years before today and it would just it makes sense now we're all evolving so i totally understand that it's probably not going to be timeless however i feel like cookbooks are very personal to the author and you invest in a cookbook because you can relate to the message just by the by the title or by the vibe of the book you're not gonna just buy any cookbook if you're plant-based you're gonna look for the words plant-based in it um you're not going to if you want something specific from a cookbook that is the keyword and that is usually somewhere on the title or somewhere known with the author so my cookbook has been in the makings for a few years now maybe two or three um and i'm very <laughs> hard on myself so I wrote a lot because I had unrealistic deadlines and I was super stoked to just pump it out and get it out there now every time I revisit my cookbook it's like really why did I write that and it was so rushed and now I have to go back and fix everything um, to just make more sense of what I'm talking to people people who are sensitive vulnerable uh, excited inspired what da da whatever it is like i need to tailor my experience uh and my energy that i'm sharing to be receivable this will come to life in my lifetime do i know when no so i'm just really trying to figure that out and today i'm finally gonna sit down after many 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 months of pushing it away i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna go through it with a fine tooth comb i think it's important i don't judge myself so hard and instead of judging I actually make the changes instead of just like looking at it and going wow that's horrible 
anyway that is a long project that i have been working on and really try my best to stay consistent with it so this is me holding myself accountable ah. <laughs> unloaded the kiln a few days ago and I am slowly making my way through each piece to glaze it I'm approaching my birthday um, in a week in like 10 days I'm approaching my birthday and I'm very excited about it <music> present to myself that I find is more important is the follow-up the the gratitude for this 365 days of being this age um, and writing out what actually happened and how I can um, embody myself even deeper into the next age. And I think physical numbers don't mean that much to me. They don't really resonate with me in terms of identification. So it's interesting to see. It's definitely a good grounder though because I definitely tend to float away in like what I should be doing and, and what I can do and all this social pressure, whatever. But then I'm like, wait a second, I'm only this age. Like I can relax. And then I'm gonna go and kind of work through my closet and donate a lot of things. I know that's all I do pretty much. <laughs> declutter, 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 but it feels so good. And so that's what it kind of feels like. Every time I clean out my closet or clean out the house or rearrange something, there's newness, there's a shift in energy, there's a shift in space. When I come into this space, specifically the home that I live in, it's, it's about being renewed come and rejuvenate like i come home and i just feel like every element of my home is like healing and nurturing and giving it's just really important and i love that and i love that a home gives back and i think it's important for us to make changes based off of our shifts and our seasons in life and that's exactly what a birthday is it's just a shift it's a season oh my gosh i haven't had any water socks off because I have a really really meaningful collaboration that I did a while back I partnered with hippie feet not only do they have really amazing prints and such but I partnered with them specifically because of the difference they make in communities I designed a pair of socks with them that not only use recycled materials like recycled cotton and nylons but 50% of the profits from this collection go to nonprofit organizations that help support youth experiencing homelessness. I wanted to put meaningful messages on the back of my socks and I love the checkered print on these socks. It is inspired by the checkered cup. I think this is a really easy way, an accessible way to make a big difference in someone's life. And they also have a lot of other really fun socks that you can stock up to prep for wintertime. There are only a few left. I did this collab a while ago. So make sure to grab your pair of socks so you can 
represent a whole bunch of things, but more importantly, to give back to other people. Okay, uh, today was kind of a crazy day and I did a ton of ceramic stuff. I even remodeled my entire website. That was not even on the list of things to do. I made this custom fragile stamp, which I'm super excited about. I drew the top two things and then the fragile, I just kind of crafted it through Canva and I uploaded all my pieces. We go live tomorrow at 12. Um, I redid my website, I already said that, but it is really, really amazing to see the evolution of the website. I've seen older versions of this site and it, it makes my skin crawl, the fact that that was once upon a time what this website looked like, but the fact that I can reflect and grow um, is just, it warms my heart, so. Yeah, kiln is unloaded, all the pieces are listed. Go check out the website if you are interested in buying any pieces. I would love to share them with you, especially since I've updated my little packaged materials and care cards. And so anyway, that's it for today's little vlog video thingy. Love you all very much. Thank you for joining me and um, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>